uh, attitude is your answer. And attitude is the one thing that you totally control 100%. You decide, you choose how you will respond to life, whether you get up in the morning and say, I'm going to be a, a, a good guy today and, and do positive things, or I'm going to be a jerk. And I'm going to be, you know, offensive and rude and obnoxious. And you decide those things. And it goes back to a, one of my favorite books by Viktor Frankl. It's called Men's Search for Meaning. And Viktor Frankl was a Holocaust survivor. Hmm. And he was a, a young doctor. And he went, he was taken away. Uh, they took his medical practice. They killed his wife. They killed his, his parents. He was in Auschwitz. And I read that book and he said, you know, they stripped me of everything I had. They, they took him into Auschwitz. They, they, they took everything he had and they, they stripped his clothes. They shaved the hair off his head and they shaved the hair off their whole bodies. And he's there with nothing. And he said, you know what? They can take everything I have. And they did, but they can't take my attitude my my choice to respond in the way I want to. And he said, I'm going to try to live if possible, or I can just roll over and die. And he said, my choice is I'm going to try to live and write and, and tell the story of what's happened here and what is going on here. And I was able to actually go, oh, and I tell that in my second book, Finishing on Fire, I went to Auschwitz with a Holocaust survivor and, and we toured Auschwitz and uh, it was amazing. It, it just it just gives you goosebumps to yeah. see uh, you walk uh, there. There's two different camps there, uh, Auschwitz one and then Auschwitz two, which is Birkenau. It's it's basically a killing factory wow. is, is what it was. It's 400 acres in Auschwitz uh, Birkenau. And then the Auschwitz one where you see the famous sign, you know, um, work will make you free, you know, all this stuff. And, but I went with Eva Kaur, who was a, um, she was a twin and they did, uh, Dr. Mengele, Dr. Joseph Mengele, they called him Dr. Death. Uh, they did experiments on, um, on twins. And she was a little twin, 10 year old girl, her and her sister. And, uh, the rest of her family was murdered. Her two older sisters and her mom and dad were, were killed. Um, uh, but they, they survived only because, Dr. Mingla wanted to do experiments on them. And she showed me her tattoo. And actually there's a movie out about her, a documentary. Uh, but she had a tattoo, A-70 uh, or uh, 7064. And their sister was 6'3". Mm -hmm. and, and that's Auschwitz. And that's their tattoo. She showed it on her arm. And she said, yeah. She said, they'd take blood out of one arm and then they would um, inject poison in the other arm. And, and then experiment and see what the poison did to them and just, just horrific stuff. And she barely survived, uh, but amazing story, but I tell about it in my book and, and just um, it's hard as a human being to see what another human being could do. Uh, you know, the, the destruction and the hate and the evil. So I just, um, but anyway, so attitude comes from that. And I think attitude is your answer in so many situations that you, you may not be able to change, you know, who the president is or, or your job, if you, you get laid off or, or whatever, the, the weather, <laughs> you know, so many things that we get concerned about, but we can choose our response to those things. And it's all in our attitude, you know, and you, and, and even though you can't control it, you can decide, you know what, in spite of this ugly tragedy, I'm going to continue on and shine the light of, of goodness uh, around me. And so, so that's, that's my other piece of advice, you know, attitude as your, is your answer. And, you know, hanging out with the right people also helps your attitude. Oh. And, uh, you know, it really, 